James just finished another match of Call of Duty, a game that he's been grinding on since it came out. It's late at night, and as much as James would want to keep playing, even he knows it's time to go to bed. His alarm for college, in fact, is going off in just two hours. As he lies in bed, he can't sleep as his brain is still wired from gaming, so he starts scrolling meme pages on Instagram, and that's when he sees the meme, Gamer versus Chad. James scoffs at his screen. Yeah, right. I don't spend eight hours a day playing video games. I don't have bad posture, and I have some friends. But in reality, James spends 10 hours a day playing video games, doesn't work, is too anxious to go to the gym, is slouched over with bad posture, can't hold eye contact, has only online friends, has never approached a girl with the intentions of asking her out, and doesn't have a meaningful job that gives him a sense of purpose. As much as James dismisses the Gamer vs Chad meme, he can't help but think about the Chad character when he finally turns his phone off to go to sleep. What would it feel like to be strong and fit? What would it be like to have a daily schedule full Full of productive activities. What would it feel like to kiss a girl? What would it be like to have true meaning in life? What would it be like to be a Chad? If you feel like you can relate to James, pay close attention until the end of this video as I will give you a practical blueprint with step-by-step -step instructions on how you can go from who you are currently to becoming an actual real-life Chad living the life of your dreams. The truth is that many young men are lost these days. We are stuck playing video games, watching porn, and scrolling TikTok for easy dopamine. We are physically weak, socially anxious, and have no purpose. We've been failed by society and our mental health has suffered because of it. But I want to keep it real with you guys. Nobody is coming to save you. You can only save yourself. So here are three steps you can take to get your life back on track and change from being a weak gamer wasting his life away to a confident, productive, and thriving version of yourself. Or as some would say, a Chad. Step one, clearly define yourself and your goals. Understanding who you want to be and who you don't want to be will give you a clear distinction and the ability to stop doing actions that will push you towards your weaker self. For example, if you know that playing video games for three more hours is worse than going to sleep on time, you are on the right track. If you make it clear to yourself who you want to become before doing anything, you should stop and think about what would a Chad do in this situation? Approaching every situation with this question in mind will allow you to complete the other half of the first step, identifying your goals. Some people will say you need to fake it till you make it, but often this is misguided because faking it is about pretending to be someone that you're not. Instead, you wanna make a slight tweak. You wanna act as if. Act in the way that is aligned with the person you wanna become. You already know that you wanna become a Chad. You wanna become someone desired. So what habits do you need to build and what goals do you need to achieve in order to get closer to your desired self? Perhaps it's discovering if you can limit your gaming or you have to quit it entirely. Maybe it's replacing gaming with more fulfilling activities and habits like reading, working out, eating healthy, going out to nature, hanging out with friends and getting into a relationship. When I decided to stop gaming, my biggest goal was to work on improving my social skills. That gave me something to focus on initially. Then I realized I wanted to have my own business and be my own boss, and so on and so on. But it all begins with that first step of understanding what you want and who you need to become, and then building a plan for how you will get there. But that's not all, because you also have to realize the speed of the process. So step two, play the long game. Nothing great in life comes fast and easy, and most definitely not things that you want to improve and grow on. Becoming a better version of your current self is not like a match in CSGO, Apex, or Overwatch. It's not a fast-paced experience that rewards you every step of the way. This is real life, and building your character in real life takes time, proper effort, and dedication in order to see the desired change. That's why you need to accept that it will be a long-term process. So the other day I was speaking to a young man who wanted to start his own business and start traveling the world, but he felt discouraged because it was taking longer than he wanted. But the truth is, if I told you, look, guaranteed you will reach that goal, let's say it's making $10,000 per month with an online business, but it will take you three years. But on this day, three years from now, you will be making $10,000 per month with an online business. Would you take it? Would you commit to waiting three years? Or are you going to quit now because you want it to happen faster. 
Well, I think you'd probably take it. So just remember that the frustration you feel right now can be frustration that's not happening soon. It's not happening fast enough. Instead of being frustrated, that's not happening in the future. Now make sure you keep watching because there's a secret way to speed up this process, which I'll share in point number three. It's impossible to change yourself in a day, but it is possible to change one day at a time. But I can guarantee it will never happen if you don't start making changes now. It's easy to look at my life now and see all the progress I've made. The Sea View Villa, the girlfriend, the business, the international speaking tours, the massive biceps. But it's another to see that I started this journey almost 14 years ago. So yes, I've made a lot of progress, but it has also taken a lot of time and effort. So if you trust the process, you will be rewarded for it by reaching something better than what you have now. But it will only happen if you start right now. If you never start, you'll never grow and you'll never succeed. So you have to start and I suggest that you start today. Remember in the future, you will be looking in the mirror with only one of two thoughts. Either you will be looking in the mirror so grateful you took action after watching this video and turned your life around, or you will be looking in the mirror with regret, wishing you had taken action so many years ago. Which path you take is the choice that you have to make. So choose wisely. All right, so you've defined who you wanna be, put a plan in action and embrace the long-term process, which brings us to the next step, double down on what works. Once people achieve at least some of the goals that they have set for themselves, they usually like to relax and take it easy, but the journey is far from over. In fact, it's never over. For example, if you become physically strong, find friends, start making money and progress positively in your life, that's not the end. You can't just save your progress in real life, like in a video game, and expect it to be there if you take a break. So you have to maintain it. Double down on what works. If your life has got a lot better without video games, don't use the progress you've made to justify going back. Double down. That way you will continue to make more and more progress instead of falling back into old habits. You can also think about it in direct contrast. When life is not working, when things are going poorly, you're struggling, what are the things you were doubling down on that are continuing to lead to these bad results? Well, for most of you, it's video games. Things aren't going well, and yet you're doing more and more of the very things that are leading you to having poor results in your life. You're playing more games, spending more time inside, watching more porn, wasting more time on social media. So are you really surprised that things aren't going well? So let's get honest and start making some changes. It starts by defining yourself and your goals clearly, committing to the long-term process of change, and once you start achieving positive results, double down to maintain your progress and set your sights on bigger and better goals. If you follow this formula, you'll go from being a weak, lonely, pleasure-driven gamer to a strong, popular, and purpose-driven chat. Now to get there, you will have to decide whether to stop gaming cold turkey or limit with moderation. So watch this video now to figure that out.